got a Sony D50 in to have a look at. This one's not playing any discs. D50 was one of the first of the Discman type Walkmans that Sony had. Didn't even take batteries. It had an external battery pack that stuck on the back of it. And you carried it over your shoulder in this little external pack. Got a couple of vintage pieces to look at. We're going to start out with this one. This is an old Sony Discman. This is called a D50. It's in actually pretty good condition. This, I think, was probably one of the first of the uh, Sony Discmans. Got the 9 volt adapter, and this is a, a backwards polarity. I think this one's backwards polarity. Yeah, tip is negative on this. Like a lot of Sony's, uh, they use the negative tip adapter as opposed to positive, whereas most were using positive tip. Sony did things backwards. Uh, this one here apparently does not play, so we're going to give this one a try and just see if we can figure out why it's not working. Now, you know, this old is probably not going to accept CDR media, so let's just try a regular stamped disc and see what happens. And that's all that happens. It just rotates ever so slightly, and that's it. If we want to see if this unit will focus or operate with the lid open, all we need to do is put a pin in. I think it's in here. It's either a switch here or there's a pin that goes down there. I forget. I think it's a pin that goes down here. Or is it a switch on this one? One of these have a, some of these have a switch. There's a switch, okay. So we'll observe it has a metal pin too, so it might need to make a contact. In addition to the switch closing it might need to have a contact through here as well. But let's observe the, the laser lens and see whether anything attempts to focus. Doesn't it look like it's trying to focus, does it? Let's see if the laser's coming on. So with night shot on, let's see if we can observe any light. No, I don't see any light there. So, it doesn't appear to be attempting to start. We'll pop the bottom off the unit and observe what's going on. I don't know whether it's going to be repairable or not or whether it's going to be economical to repair. One thing for sure, if there's parts that are shot on this, uh, good luck trying to find them. So we'll take a quick look at this unit and just see if there's anything obvious that uh, might be wrong with it. These were made before they had the digital circuits for focus and so forth. So there was a lot of adjustments that uh, were required on units of this vintage. And even at that, they weren't really that good when they first came out. Just curious. Get a look underneath the the board on here. Things don't lift out very well on these units. They had multiple uh, you know, they had multiple th uh, connectors soldered down. There's no plugs. Well, what is this? Is that a wire? the heck is that going across that chip? That looks like a wire going across there, doesn't it? There's a wire. Going, going across that chip.
See that? It's like someone modded this. It might have been a Sony mod, who knows. Is that broken? Maybe not. That's just the backing of the uh, flex cable. You don't get much clearance on these ones either. One more screw up the front here. I think this whole thing, the whole board should, should kind of tilt out of the way. I don't want to force anything though because these really were delicate units. So I gotta unsolder this one. Looks like somebody's had it off before too. Okay, unsoldered that connector so that I can lift the board up and just take a quick peek underneath it. I just want to uh, see whether I can move the pickup. Pickup won't move without the sled motor moving it. But typically what has to happen when you first turn it on is it, it moves the pickup home and then back. And if it doesn't detect that the pickup has gone home, it won't uh, really do anything. It won't try to read anything. See the little switch here? This is what gets activated when the pickup moves. When the pickup moves in, it pushes the switch, which is what detects that the pickup is in its home position. The fact that the two screws here are almost falling out, I'm just gonna lift out this motor assembly if I can, see if there's anything damaged or broken, any pinched wires or anything under here. It's just about what's well, cracked. There's, there's rubber um, support down here for the transport, and the rubber is all deteriorated. That's probably part of what's wrong with it. It's just jammed up. It's not moving because the uh, the transport seized up, more than likely. So here's part of the problem here. This this uh, motor is gummed up. It won't turn. It's got pieces of rubber and stuff from that have come off of these uh, uh, supports that are just crumbling away and they're jamming in the gear. Or is it the gear itself that's breaking down? There's chunks of rubber. You can see chunks of rubber here from the mechanism that's just jammed up. And uh, if we look over here, it, there's chunks of rubber that have come off. Right? And it's just jamming the whole system up. That's probably why it's not attempting to read. This this motor is it's stuck. Like it won't turn at all. If I can adjust it or not. It won't turn. Like I can't even turn it by hand. 
when I try to rot when I try to rotate this thing. Oh, now it's going to turn a bit. really quite stiff to turn that motor. And of course this is what moves the, the sled back and forth. Okay. okay, now it's turning. Now they got the bits of plastic that were stuck in the gear, uh, in the teeth out. How is this Laser moves. Laser moves okay. Yeah, that's moving okay. I'll just try re reinstalling this and just see whether it uh, does anything. It might even just jammed up. This thing's certainly not worth spending any money on, though. Um, I'm sure the guy that owns it probably wants to try to sell it. I got this from the guy that uh, I got the the Sony laser disc from, the, the one I fixed last week. He gave me a call and he says, hey, I got some stuff. You want to take a look at it and see if you can fix it? And I said, sure. So I think he probably tried to, he sells a lot of stuff. So I think he's trying to get this running so he can sell it. But it's uh, not something that I would recommend anybody buying because stuff like it is so old that uh, you really, you can't, uh, you can't bank on it. It's going to last any length of time. The, the rubber I'm talking about is like a little donut that fit around here. You see it's gone completely that one's deteriorated it's a shock mount and the bits went into the gears and this one over here is also cracking right down here this one this one's cracking and as is this one back here they're just like rubber uh, they're like rubber tires that, that the float the mechanism on and uh, they're, they're just they're, they're shot so I'm just gonna stick this kind of together and just see whether it does anything more than it did before Just full of wires ready to break. That's what these things are. What I'm curious is, is this thing going to do anything different than before? Is it going to try to read the disc? Now that I've freed up that uh, sled motor that was sticking. I, I don't think we're going to have much success in it reading per se because the rubber um, the rubber supports are, are shot. But we should get something different than what happened before. Should, it should at least try to do something more than before. Okay, we'll put this back in place and reconnect it. Again, dumb, dumb, dumb designs. You know, make things pluggable so you can unplug things. Not, not have to undo soldered on flex boards to do any work. There's only so many times that these things can come apart. Got a cat in here that's starting to annoy me now. All right, let's just see whether I made any progress. Highly unlikely, but let's just see if it tries to spin. No. It's still doing the same. And, and there's a good chance that when that motor was seized up like that, that it's damaged the drive IC. Because I, I didn't hear the pickup try to move forward and go to the home position. What it should do when you first try to start it is, it should do this. It should go home, activate that switch, and then come back to the table of contents position and start reading the disc and then try to focus. And it didn't, it didn't try to do any of that. If I flick the little switch over here, see, it doesn't.
doesn't try to move the pickup. So I'm going to say that this one here is not repairable just due to the fact that we don't know how far the damage is but the, this rubber is basically it's hard as a rock and it's just all crumbly that's what holds the pickup in place it kind of gives it a bit of shock protection but uh, that's shot and you know get this jumper wire over top of this chip here I have no idea what that's there for whether it was a mod that was done or something but that's certainly uh, doesn't look like it's correct and then also looks like there's been if you look down here on the board here it looks like there's been a bunch of soldering done on the board take a look at this looks like somebody's been in here doesn't it changing out parts and if we look down here this control looks like it's been added after the fact doesn't it it's got wires going off to it to different places I don't know if that was factory or whether that was an aftermarket but there's certainly been work done on this before see the traces over here have been damaged maybe it got wet look at these transistors here actually that actually looks like a mod that was done to it that doesn't look factory you got parts that are in it in it angles like somebody's been in here changing parts this was actually quite common on the early generation there were so many flaws the first generation that they had to do a lot of mods to them after they produced them so it could have been done at the factory Doing exactly the same thing as uh, it was brought to me. It's not uh, reading, it's not even attempting, it's not attempting to focus. As you see, lens doesn't appear to even try to focus, but the, uh, the laser's not coming on either. Well, that's about all I can do on this one. This unit is now back together, and I'll be sending it back to the fellow that uh, gave it to me to look at. This one's uh, certainly not worth putting any time or effort into. Thanks for watching.